Hello YouTube. It's Sunday. I did a little bit of picking today, not much. I uh, picked up a Street Fighter poster. And uh, I picked up the rest of those um, Star Wars Black series that I could find. Anyway, today I'm going to go over this. It's going to be a little bit longer video because I'm going to show you all these action figures. But anyway, it'll all be up on the Lucky Picker on eBay. And uh, if you like this kind of stuff, be sure to hit subscribe down at the bottom. Just smash it with your mouse. Anyway, we'll get into it. I picked up uh, Valkyrie. And... I also picked up this Marvel uh, Capcom and I picked up a Spider-Man for the PS4. I also picked up an entire tub of action figures. I don't know who they are all yet. I'm going to uh, be making some changes in here. I'm going to replace these shelves with stuff that is listed uh, so you can see it in future videos. So all the stuff will be listed. Currently, this stuff that you're looking at now is not listed. Uh, also, the Black Series are not listed yet. But anyway, uh, today I picked up uh, Thanos from the uh, Infinity Wars. He's pretty neat. He's in this package, but it has been opened. And we'll go over these action figures. There's some wrestlers in there. And uh, some pretty good looking characters. That one almost looks like Gene Simmons. There's some uh, wrestlers that sit. I don't know why they sit. There's no motorcycles or anything with them. Anyway, if you know any of these characters you can comment below this guy right here is uh, he's a pitcher of health and I showed that guy yesterday you wind him up and his mouth moves this guy stands but I just set him down ran out of room on the shelf This guy back here is kind of cool. Anyway, I'll get these, uh, I'll find out who these characters are and get them listed. I'm going to put together an Infinity Wars movie with uh, the characters that were in the movie and put that up as one lot with these action figures. Anyway, I also picked up a Super Nintendo Classic. It's a little bitty, tiny game system. Uh, it's got both remotes in there and those are the power cords and everything that go inside the box. I don't know how they put it all in there but I'm going to get it back in the box. But anyway I tested it. It works just fine. It's got a lot of neat games in it. These come preloaded. You don't need any, uh, you don't need any games. Uh, any cartridges or discs or anything. You just plug it in. It's small. I've got a uh, DVD uh, screens that hook up in the back of like an SUV. Um, these little game systems would be great because I don't guess it matters if they get uh, jarred around while you're in the car. Something to keep the kids busy. Anyway, I didn't pick up a whole lot today. also picked up this marble. It's like a painting. It's on a canvas. Uh, anyway, let's get into these uh, black characters they're really well done great detail on them in great shape these were displayed most of the uh, most of the little weapons have holsters on them now these three that are uh, out of the package I don't have the boxes for them so they're gonna go up I'm probably just going to ship them in bubble wrap or however, but they, uh, they really move. They're 
they go left to right and some of them you squeeze the legs and they swing their lightsabers but these are the uh, black series and these possibly could have come on a card like the other ones that I have already listed really nice little action figures okay so we'll start down here on the end uh, this is this one does there's two of them that don't have numbers so I'm not sure what they are but the uh, weapons and everything are inside the boxes I'm gonna put them in bubble wrap when I send them out you do get the original box but the inside packaging is not in there but all of the uh, the kid that had these he really took good care of them so we have this one here's the next one it doesn't have a number so I'm not sure where they go in the series Star Wars looks like Walgreens was selling these once upon a time I guess when they were still carrying them I've seen a couple of Walgreens stickers on them anyway that's number two this one is number three. This one is all in its original packaging. has the insert and everything in there. Some of these are going to have the insert. Some of them are not. We'll disclose that on eBay. But this is number three. Then we skip up to number 12. Looks like another Stormtrooper. Some of the packaging is a little bit scuffed up. Some of the packaging is in excellent shape. Which the pictures that you'll see up on eBay are going to be very descriptive. This is number 16. And it looks like a stormtrooper with some kind of a backpack. Maybe jet packs or something. But great shape. Just no, no plastic on number, th number 16. The next one is number 22. Number 22 has its insert. But it has been displayed. As far as I know, some of these have been opened. Some of them, This one is factory sealed. So this one, he didn't display it. It's in really great shape. But you see, that's what I'm talking about. Some of the packaging is a little bit rough on there. The next one is 23. I have one out of the box on number 23. I'll show you that guy right here. He's got all of his weapons and everything in there. This one is... This one's sealed. Number 23 is sealed. Again, it has a Walgreens sticker on it. Some of these come up about, you know, 10 bucks. Some of them are... Uh, you know, up in the $30 range. It just, it just depends on what you get. But the detail is amazing. But yeah, I have pictures of uh, that this collector had sent me over. This was a private pick out in Edmond. And here's the number 23 that's sealed. This one is out of the, out of the package. So I'll probably mark this one down a little bit because he's he doesn't have his packaging. It looks like he's got all of his weapons and everything on there. So that's number 23. Giving you the numbers because if you collect these and you're missing certain numbers, you'll know that we have them. These will be going up soon. This is number 27. It's in pretty good shape. Capes. Capes off of that one there. This one is open. I'll put the cape back on it. Number 27. Then we skip up to number 33. Number 33 is completely sealed. It's got uh, all the weapons and everything. They insert and all the packaging. Number 33. 
looks in great shape if you keep them in the box or if you display them like this other uh, collector did on shelves the next one is number 51 these are all star wars black series he has his weapons and stuff but he's missing the uh internal packaging i'll i'll bubble wrap these inside of these original boxes and put them in another box when they sell uh, but this packaging is in great shape The next one is number 54. Number 54. This is one that I'd looked up. It's one of the cheaper ones. It's under $10. Uh, let's see, he's got, doesn't feel like there's any weapons with this guy. But it's definitely an open box. Number 54. Then these ones that are stacked, there's two of them. One of them will have its insert. There's all the weapons and everything in there and it's sealed so this one's basically new and the packaging looks to be in pretty good shape so there's that's number 57 and here is the other 57 that is open this one was displayed his weapons are in there got him in his hands he's also got looks like holsters where's a where's a cape so there's two of those number 57s then we skip up to number 60 number 60 looks sealed a little bit of scratching on the bottom corners but all the hangers seem to be intact if you hang them or want to take them out, however you want to work that, that's number 60. The next one is number 62. So number 62 has its insert and the weapons look sealed. Yeah, it's got tape on it. So the number 62 is unopened. Number 63. Number 63 has its plastic insert. It's a little helmet there and stuff. And it is sealed. So this one's new. Little tiny bit of tattering on the box. Grand Mar Tarkin. And there's two of these. This is number 64. Number 64. Looks like another stormtrooper. It says right back here on the back. Range trooper. Trooper. Front. Taylor. There's two of those. Number 64. This one does not have its insert. This one is opened. It was displayed. Uh, looks like the weapons are in there. It's in his... Uh, in his hand so there's two of those number 64 I had no idea these things were so expensive I had to pay up a little bit to get them uh, there's a Lando number 65 he's got his insert let's see if he's open nope he's sealed up we got a little cape. Excellent detail on them. That's number 65. Next one, we skip up to number 91. She has been open. She's got a lightsaber and some kind of a kind of a little plastic gun in her hand. It's Ray, number 91. Then we go up to number 94. Number 94, it's a pretty neat little guy. The Mandalorian, number 94. 
94 does not have an insert and has been displayed. These haven't been played with. There's no uh, scratches or anything on them. Next one is number 103. Number 103, she has her little guns in her hands. And incredible detail. Anyway, that's number 103. The next one is 105. Number 105. He's got uh, some kind of sword in his hand and also a little gun in his hand. Number 105. It's uh, the Knight of Wren. Okay, so there's two of these. It's number 106. 106 is looks like it's sealed. It's missing the little hanger tab on the top. It's broke off or cut off. But it is sealed. These are all Star Wars Black Series. There's some other ones down here that don't have numbers that I'm not sure if they're Black Series or not, but they I just picked them up with it. There's a guy with a lightsaber. Number 112. Let's see what his name is. Kit Fisto. I'm probably butchering these names, but we'll have it right on there. And you Star Wars collectors out there will know what they are. Here's the uh, Lego. So this one's not a black series, but it is number seven five five eight seven. And these are put together. Uh, but they seem to be complete with everything, the uh lightsaber and all that. I believe that's the Sith. Seven five five three seven on this Lego Star Wars. And I have another Lego Star Wars. The kid that put these together did a really good job. They're nice. Uh, it says 104 on it. Maybe it's 104 pieces. Anyway, they're put together. Uh, you can take them apart and put them back together. <clears throat> I guess. This guy's opening is really heavy. This guy is the heaviest one that I picked up. It's open box, Star Wars. The story on the back. This one is number 99, but the box is different, so I'm not sure it's a uh, black series or not. Another Stormtrooper. It says 99. Let me see. They have a 99 up here. It goes from 94 to 103. Put 99 right in there. This one's new in the package. I don't see a number on it. It's pretty nice. I think this is some kind of a war bot. Heavy battle droid. That's what it says. And then I've got these three that are kind of... Oop, drop that one. You get a discount on that one. This one fell out of the box. Let's see. He's got another piece here. He's got a... Uh, little shield this is another one that was displayed from that same collector that was out in Edmond and again I'm gonna bubble wrap those so they're at least stable in the packaging I'm include the boxes there but they are open there's another guy he's got uh, he's got two little weapons that are in their holsters and he also holds them Lando, I think. 
thick look at the box. Let's see what it says. Brief. Carga. Sorry, I don't know the names of them. I was never into Star Wars. Oh, here we go. No, this guy. It's Darth Vader. Wow, he's really good. Uh, really good looking character. Got his lightsaber, cape. Anyway, that's what I got on the Star Wars uh, Black Series. But anyway, I'm going to uh, put all these uh, in a listed tub and Mootsie will get going. Now, most of these characters up here are just going to come in a bubble wrap package. I'll make sure they don't get broken and uh, you'll see the photographs of them uh, in good detail on uh, on eBay. But yeah, if you have any, uh, anything to say about any of them, uh, feel free to comment below. And if you like this kind of stuff, if you, uh, hit a subscribe, it definitely help Mootsy out. Uh, I've got a few other characters too that I'm going to do on the next video, but today I'm going to get all of the listed stuff that uh, we've put up here lately and put it up on these shelves so i'm going to arrange them it'll be a little different next time you see it if you see anything behind me that is on the shelf it has been listed so it's kind of going to be uh, uh listed uh a listed area we're actually calling this bin a so anyway that's all i got for you today i'm going to get busy uh photographing we got some new light boxes in Here's the light sets and go with it. Nice little box so it puts off a really nice white background. And it's better than using the cardboard setup that I had before. And I'm going to just kind of rearrange some stuff in here today. We've gotten so many games that I'm overflowing. We just got to get to listing this, uh, this game center is just absolutely completely full of, uh, all I got a bunch of really nice uh, PlayStation, uh, PlayStation 2, PlayStation 3, PlayStation 4, Xbox One, Xbox 360, um, some N64, uh, NES, and also picked up another Nintendo DS game that I'm going to put in with the Nintendo DS that I still haven't listed yet. We got three sets of rope lights. Uh, there's just so much we just really got to get uh, get listing so anyway that's all I got for you today uh, let me know if you uh, have any anything to say about any of it thanks for watching